Hello, today we're going to talk about the basic structure of an HTML web page. So to create a basic web page, all we need really is a text editor. I'll go ahead and rename my text document to webpage.htm and I'll go ahead and change that and begin to work on my document. The basic structure of an HTML page is the same regardless of what browser you plan to use to view your pages or which web server you plan to host it on. The first line of any web page should begin with a doc type declaration. Now while we're not going to be covering all the different doc types, we'll go ahead and just use an HTML5 doc type for this document. This tells the web browser or instruct the web browser what to expect on the page. In this case, we're telling the web browser that this is an HTML5 document. Okay, the next um, element that we need to introduce is the root element. The root element for an HTM document is called HTML. So go ahead and type that in. And notice that my tags are all in lowercase, starting with the XHTML specification. All tags should be in lowercase. The first element that we introduce after the HTML element is the head element. The head element is used basically to provide instructions to the browser with specific sub elements such as title, meta, script, link, or uh, styles. And these elements within the head element are not necessarily visible to the end user when they open up a page, but it instructs the browser how to handle additional information about the web page. According to the HTML specification, the title element is required for any document. And the title element sits inside of the head element. So we're going to go ahead and add that. You'll notice here that we start our title, our start tag. We provide the content, which in this case is going to be the actual title description. And then we close the title tag by opening up a less than symbol, a forward slash, and then the tag name, and then we close it with a greater than symbol. While we can use other elements within the head element, we're going to go ahead and close the head element. Uh, this, we're just using a basic introduction page. So this tells our browser that we've completed the information in the head element. After the head, um, we go ahead and introduce the body element. Now within the body element, you use uh, other elements that are going to be displayed uh, in the web browser. So for instance, if we want to type a paragraph, we would do so within the body element. So we start our paragraph by using the P tag, and we can put some information in. This is a paragraph. And when we're finished with our paragraph, we go ahead and close the paragraph with a closing tag. Now there are other elements that we can use within the body. For instance, we can put in a horizontal rule. And this is considered a self-closing tag. So the horizontal rule tag will just draw a line across the web page. And you'll notice that there's no content. So this is basically just a, a starting tag, which is uh, self-closed. Other items that you can use are, for instance, um, an ordered list. We had some items that we wanted to list by number. We can um, start the order list tag and introduce some list items. For instance, this is the first item. I will close the list item. Uh, let's add another list item. This is the second item. Go ahead and close that. And once we close the ordered list, we'll use the end tag. Once we finish uh, with the content of our web page, we need to go ahead and close the body tag. So I'll type in the uh, closing tag for body. And once we're done with the document, we go ahead and close the HTML tag. So once you have all your content completed and all your tags closed, all our tags are in lowercase. We're going to go ahead and save this document. And there's no need to upload this to a web server. Any uh, web, modern web browser can go ahead and render this information. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. OK, I'll go ahead and double click this web page HTM file. And it'll open up with my default browser, in this case, which is um, Google Chrome. Now that the page is open, you'll notice that our title is displayed in the tab, my web page title. We have our the content from our paragraph here. We had a horizontal rule next. 
and we had an ordered list and you'll notice that the numbers are actually automatically displayed with uh, the content between uh, the elements, the list item elements. Well that completes our introduction to a basic HTML page. Please visit our website. Thank you very much.